Hey, it's Miss Michelle from Hoyt Library. I'm so excited to be here with you today to share this wonderful form of storytelling called Kamishibai. Now, Kamishibai has been around for many, many, many years, but it was particularly popular in the 1920s to 1950s in Japan. And what it would look like then is a storyteller would have a wooden theater, looks like something like this, attached to the back of a bike. And they would ride up on their bike and announce that it was Kamishi by time. And they had drawers underneath the theater that were full of candy treats that the children would buy from the storyteller to enjoy while they were listening to a story. So let's share a story today. The name of the story is Neion the Kitten. And we see, look at Neion on the front there. What is Neion looking at? While well, she's looking up into the sky, what could she be looking at? Hmm, maybe the moon, right? Yes, look at that, it's the moon. Wow, we've all seen the moon before, right? But Neion is just a little kitten and she's never seen the moon before. It's all new to her. So she's looking up at the sky. Meow, meow, she says. There's something strange up there. What is that? Oh, what's happening now? It disappeared. What happened to it? Where did it go? Something strange is going on here, she says. Hmm. What do you think happened to the moon? Where is the moon? Well, you're right, it is. It's behind a cloud. It's behind a cloud. But Neon doesn't know that. She's just a little kitten. Oh, there it is. It's back again. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, she says. Well, I'm going after it. Neion jumps into the air to catch the moon, and the moon flies away. And Neion runs faster, and the moon gets further away. Neion is running, running, running after the moon. Wait, wait, wait for me. What's going on here, she says. Hmm, that's funny. When Neion stops running, the moon stops moving. Isn't that strange? What's going on? Hmm. Hey, I have an idea. I have an idea. Meow, she says. Oh, quietly now. Here she goes. Ta, 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 up the tree. Hmm, what's her idea, I wonder? Here she goes, up the tree. Hey, what happened? I can't see it anymore. Where did it go? Do you see it? I see it too. There it is. It's down in a puddle, isn't it? Is that the reflection we see of the moon down there? Does Nae on see it yet? Hmm. It's back, it's back. I'm going to get it. Splash! Neon jumps down to catch the moon and splash right into a puddle she goes. Oh boy, and we all know how much Kate, cats don't like to get wet, right? Oh boy, mm. I caught it, she said. I caught it, I caught the moon. Did she catch the moon? No, right? She just jumped into a big puddle on the ground. Hmm. Uh-oh. What happened, she said. Did it break? Did I break the moon? Neon wondered. Oh, no. Hmm. I finally found the moon, but now I've broken it. Hmm. Did she break the moon? No, right? But even so, Neon is so very proud of herself. 
Look at how proud she looks of herself walking home. Doesn't she look so proud of herself? Let's see. What shall I catch next? That was so much fun, Neon says. Hmm. Beaming with pride as she walks home. Way up in the sky, the moon watches Nae on for a very long time as she walks home. Good night, Nia On, says the moon. Let's play again tomorrow. Oshimai, which means the end. Can you just try saying that? Oshimai. The end. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today for this wonderful story. And I want to say a great big thank you to Kamishi by Four Kids, the company that gave me permission to be able to use and share this with you today. So thank you very much and thank you all for joining me today.